Hello friends, welcome to Chris class. I am Monica and today we will study data handling. We have already studied about data in our previous class in class 6. What is data? See data is the information which we gather about something. We collect data and then we organize it. When we organize data, it helps us to interpret and analyze it in a better way. See we have already studied tally marks and pictograph. Now in this section, we will study more about data. See here we are given this data. Now first let us arrange it in ascending order. We have to place the same digits together. See here we have arranged this data in the increasing order. What do we see here? We see that this number, number 5, this is occurring more frequently. More number of times it has occurred in our data. So this number 5 is the mode of the data. Mode is equal to 5, which is the most occurring observation. This observation is occurring more number of times, more frequently in our data. So this is called the mode of the data. Mode of the data will always be a number in the data. Now let us see which is the middle number. Middle number means leaving equal observations on both sides. What we get? 3 is the middle number, middle observation. We have left four observations on one side and the other four on the other side. So this is the middle observation. This middle observation is called the median. So what do we get? Median is three. This is the middle observation. See, this median we can get only when there are odd number of observations. See, here the observations are 9. So, we could get the median, which is the middle observation. You can remember by median, mid, middle. So, median is the middle observation. In this data, median is 3. These are called representative values or are also called measure of central tendency. Another representative value is the range. Range means the difference between the highest observation and the lowest observation. Highest observation here is 5 and the lowest observation is 1. So 4 is the range of the data. This is the Difference between the highest observation and the lowest observation. So we've got range. This is more most occurring observation. Median is the middle observation and range is the difference between the highest observation and the lowest observation. Another important representative value is the mean. It is also called arithmetic mean. Or average. This is also a very important representative value or the measure of central tendency of a data. We will add up all the values. The sum of all observations. This is the sum of all the observations by the number of observations. Number of observations here are 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we will take the sum of all the observations. What do we get here? Here we have 27 by 9. What do we get? 3. 
So 3 is the mean of this data. Mean will always lie between the lowest uh, observation and the highest observation of the data. Arithmetic mean is equal to sum of all observations by number of observations. So average or mean we can find as mean is equal to the sum of all observations by the number of observations. We will sum up all the values which are given in the data and then divide it by the total number of observations of the data. Now let us solve these sums. Find the mode and median of the data. We are given this data. We have to find the mode and median of it. Now first and foremost we will arrange this data into increasing order. The lowest number is 17, then 18, 24, is occurring 3 times, 24, then 36, then 46, We have arranged our data in the increasing order. You have to remember that while finding mode and median, it is very necessary to arrange the data in increasing order. Now see, we have arranged it. Now we will find the mode and median. Let us see which is the most frequently occurring observation in this data. Mode is the most frequently occurring observation. Which one is that? See here we have 24 which occurs 3 times and another is 46 which is also occurring 3 times. See mode can be more than 1. So here there are 2 modes. 24 and 46 both are occurring same number of times and maximum number of times. They are occurring more frequently. So mode will be 24 and 46. Both. Both of these are mode of the data. Now let us see the median. What is median? Median is the middle observation. Here how many observations do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 observations. So we will leave 4 to one side and 4 observations to the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this. 24, 4 observations are left on one side, 4 on the other side. So which is the middle observation? 24. So here median is 24. So this was, here the observations are odd number of observations. So we could find the median in the data. Now let us see another question. Find the mean of the first 5 whole numbers. See we know what are the first 5 whole numbers. Zero, one, two, three, and four. These are whole numbers. Whole numbers start with zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. These are the five first whole numbers. Now we have to find the mean of them. Arithmetic mean is equal to sum of all observations. Divided by sum of all observations here will be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Divided by how many observations are there? 5. Their sums come, sum comes out to be 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So the mean here, arithmetic mean is 2. See for finding the mean, it is not necessary. You have to arrange your data in increasing order. Here, it has already been arranged in increasing order because we are finding the first 5 whole numbers. But if we have a data and we have to find the arithmetic mean of it, there is no need to arrange the data in increasing order. But when you find the median and mode, you have to arrange your data in increasing order. It is necessary. 
let us solve this sum. The rainfall in millimeters in a city on seven days of a certain week was recorded as follows. So here we are given the rainfall in millimeters for all the seven days of a week. Now find the range of the rainfall in the above data. Now what do we know about range? Range is the highest observation minus the lowest observation. Difference between the highest observation and the lowest observation. Range is equal to highest observation minus lowest observation. What is the maximum rainfall recorded? It is 20.5 mm. Minus what is the minimum rainfall? It is 0, 0.0 millimeters. So what is the difference? So our range is 20.5 mm of rainfall according to this data. Now we have to find the mean rainfall of the week. What is the mean? Mean is equal to sum of all observations by total number of observations. Now first we will find the sum of all the observations. How you will find? These are decimal numbers. So you will write them like this. And then you will add them up as you do decimal numbers. When you add, what do you get? This is 20 plus 20. We get 42.0. So what we will do? Sum of all the observations is. And the total number of observations, total number of days are. 7. So when we cut this, we get 6. So mean, arithmetic mean or the average of the rainfall of these 7 days is 6 millimeters. 6 mm is the mean of the data.